diversity from two Israeli vines. Israel is only able to maintain its regime of occupation, settler colonialism and apartheid over the indigenous Palestinian people because of international complicity. Corporations play a key role in this. An insurance company such as AXA should protect lives, not destroy them. However, AXA still has over $2.6 million invested in Bank Hapoelim, an Israeli bank that is blacklisted by the UN for financing Israel's illegal settlements in occupied Palestine. Shame! 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 Here, a quick overview of some of the so-called business Bank Hapoelim is invested in in these settlements. They finance the construction of housing projects, they provide loans for major construction companies, mortgages to home buyers for homes built on the rubble where Palestinian families lived not long ago, and are even a guarantor for an illegal um, railway project designed to connect settlements together in occupied East Jerusalem. Not only this, they also discriminate against the Palestinian citizens of Israel, refusing to transfer accounts of Palestinian citizens to branches located in what they consider Jewish populated areas. Is this not obviously part of ethnic cleansing and apartheid? Is this not clearly propping up settler colonialism and the genocidal Zionist regime? We can all see it. In fact, AXA can also see it, as we heard, we just heard the news recently of their $9.4 million divestment from other Israeli banks. <laughs> Ethnic cleansing and apartheid. Axa, Axa, you! 